Welcome to our tutorial about cookies. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to store information using cookies. Cookies are small files stored on the client's hard drive. They can be stored just for the length of a session, or cookies can be stored for an extended period of time. Cookies do have some limitations. For example, you can't store a significant amount of information in a cookie. Clients also can open them up and see what's stored inside, and the user as well can delete or disable the cookie with browser settings. We set a cookie using a response object. We retrieve a cookie using a request object, both of which are provided through page properties. Here's label one. The border style is solid. The border color is blue. Let's resize it. I also have a text box, TXT name, and a button caption set cookie. Let's double click on some empty space. And first, let's create a cookie object. Dim cookie as HTTP cookie. equals request.cookies.mycookie. Next line. If cookie is nothing, then else. What we're doing here is setting up a new cookie and retrieving existing cookies from the cookies collection of request objects. If the cookie can't be found, lbl1.txt will be equal to something like welcome new user. Now let's copy this line, right click and copy, and we'll paste it below. If the cookie was found, we'll write some alternative code. Cookie name. Name is the item key. Let's center align this text. And we'll make it a header as well. The HTML attributes that I'm typing here will align and determine the size of the text. Let's right click and copy, then right click and paste it here. Here we need to close our center align tag. Now let's right click and copy. Amper symbol, double quotations, OK. Now let's create a set cookie click event procedure. I'm going to pause the video while I type this code in here. OK, I'm back. Click event procedure. We set up a new cookie object. We requested my cookie from the cookies collection of request objects. In the next line, if my cookie doesn't exist, we're going to create it. In the subsequent line, we set the value to be retrieved from the text box TXT name. We use the string name as the item key. In this line, we set the expiration date for 60 days from now. Lastly, we added the cookie to the cookies collection of response objects. Now let's test our program. As you see, no cookies were found. We've got the message, welcome new user. Let's enter a name here, Tom, and click set cookie. Now we've got a different message confirming that the cookie was set and there's also a welcome message for Tom.
Let's try a different name, Bob. Smith, said Cookie, and we see a welcome message for Bob Smith. Let's return to our program, and let's open the Cookie file. Cookie files are stored in the temporary Internet files for Internet Explorer. Here's the name of our cookie, my cookie, the value that we placed in it, and then the item name. Next, let's see how we can kill the existing cookie. Let's drag in another button. We'll caption it, remove a cookie. Click outside and double click. Now let's reuse some code here. Copy, right click and paste, and these two lines too. Copy, and right click and paste down below. We're going to set the expiration date, a date which is already passed. I can put the cookie at any day actually, like minus 100, and that means the cookie will have expired 100 days ago. Let's test it out. Welcome Bob Smith. Now let's type something else. Set cookie. Now when I refresh the browser, the cookie was killed. Welcome new user is displayed. And this concludes our tutorial on cookies.